Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out the weather app in iOS 7. As you can see, it's been completely redesigned. It actually has some nice little animations which you can see better on a lighter background. As you can see, those clouds are moving along quite nicely and you can swipe between the different hours of the weather right here. You can tap on the temperature up here for more information about the weather. And like I said, you can swipe to different cities. Each city has an animation based on its current weather status. So as you can see there, they are changing depending on the location. You can see the nice little rain coming down here in Tokyo. It's just beautiful animations, beautiful backgrounds here inside of the weather app. I'm very impressed with the layout. And so let's go ahead and check out how to add cities here. If you tap on the I button at the bottom, you have this nice little kind of card layout or row layout here. And if you want to delete a city, just swipe over to the left and you can delete it just like that. To add a city at the bottom here, you have this little plus sign. You can tap on that, type in a city. Let's go ahead and type in San Francisco, wait for it to load, and then you can select it and boom, it's added to your weather list. Now you can also change the units here to Celsius if you want at the bottom. And as you can see, it's all powered by Yahoo. So this is just a very, very quick look at the weather app. It looks pretty cool and I wanted to show you guys exactly how it functions. We have these nice little animations here, as you can see in each different area for the weather, depending on what you have set. It just looks really nice. I really enjoyed this weather app much more than the little cropped layout that we have in iOS 6. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section and be sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.